In this lesson, we will learn about intercepts. There are two intercepts in this graph, the x-intercept and the y-intercept. The x-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the x-axis. The y-value is always zero at the x-intercept. The y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. The x-value is always zero at the y-intercept. Try to remember that intercepts are ordered pairs. You will often hear expressions like, the y-intercept is minus 7. This is just a quicker way of saying, the y-intercept is the ordered pair, 0 minus 7. In part A, we'll find the intercepts of y equals 4x minus 8. Find the x-intercept by letting y equal 0. Plug in 0 for y. Bring negative 8 to the other side of the equation and change its sign. Divide both sides by 4 to get x equals 2. The x-intercept is the point 2, 0. Now we'll find the y-intercept by letting x equal 0. Plug in 0 for x. This gives us y equals negative 8. The y-intercept is the point 0, negative 8. Now we'll draw the graph using the intercepts. Plot the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and draw a line through them. In part b, we'll find the intercepts of f of x equals 2 over 3x plus 2. Find the x-intercept by letting f of x equal 0. Replace f of x with 0. Bring 2 to the other side of the equation and change its sign. Cross-multiply. Divide both sides by 2 to get x equals negative 3. The x-intercept is the point negative 3, 0. Now we'll find the y-intercept by letting x equal 0. Plug in 0 for x. This evaluates to 2. The y-intercept is the point 0, 2. Now we'll use the intercepts to draw the graph. Plot the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and draw a line through them. In part c, we'll find the intercepts for d of t equals minus 2t plus 18. In this example, we will refer to the x-intercept as the t-intercept, since t is the independent variable. We will call the y-intercept the d-intercept, since d is the dependent variable. Find the t-intercept by letting d of t equal 0.
replace d of t with zero. Bring negative 2t to the other side of the equation and change its sign. Divide both sides of the equation by 2 to isolate t. The t-intercept is the point 9, 0. Now we'll find the d-intercept by letting t equal 0. Plug in 0 for t. This evaluates to 18. The d-intercept is the point 0, 18. Now we'll use the intercepts to draw the graph. Plot the t-intercept, the d-intercept, and connect them with a line.